fantastic entertainer. Yeah. You know, a great performer. Amazing. Like, she's from Vegas for a reason, hands down. Okay, now let's get into it. <laughs> so, so all that. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Mira Mangle. And Deja Sky. And welcome to another Mangled Morning. Woo! Deja, welcome back. Mama, it's been too long. It's been only a month. <laughs> it seems like it's been a lot longer than a yeah. month, doesn't it? It's only a that it's only wait. It was Mira. Yeah. What? Put your fingers in the gloves. You know what? You had to do that for the mug. <laughs> Hold them up. We're not stopping now. Today, you, we're, we're inserted. Yes. Everything's inserted. We're feeling good. We're ready to go. And this time, we're both up in quiche. We are. We're well rested now after DragCon. Although, you've been traveling the whole world. It's well, a blessing and stage. a curse. Yeah. Actually, it's not a curse. Actually, a blessing. It's, not a, it's, not a, it's just exhausting, right? It, you know, but I'm that person. I will never complain about being tired as long as I love what I do. You have such and a I good love what spirit, I do. work ethic, and all of that. And Mama, Pastel Princess 2.0, honey. I came up in here and I said, I want to live my Deja Sky fantasy. <laughs> it's fun, right? Like, pastels are fun. It is fun. And speaking of fun, today's video is going to be a lot of fun. Woo. So this was a video that you wanted to do where we look yes. at makeup queens because you are a makeup queen, Mama. Well, what's funny is I don't wear makeup. But I'm oh. considered a makeup. Uh, what is all that? <laughs> what is all that? So what? You just naturally are born a whore? Yeah, yeah. With I, a whack list. I literally wake up like Beyonce. Okay, Jay Z. Now I this list was <laughs> this list was curated. <laughs> This list was curated by Deja. Yes. Uh, so we're going to go season by season, and she's going to talk about her favorite makeup artists. And I'll chime in as well. Yeah, yeah, I've been known to, to talk a little as well. <laughs> and then the thing I'm excited about is we're also going to get into some of this uh, drama that we've been asked to discuss uh, with uh, our goods, Taurus Sissy. Yes. India Farah. India Farah versus the world. Wait, wait, wait. She's a Taurus? She's also a Taurus. She's a Just different like type of Taurus. Gia and uh, India are the two villainous Tauruses. But before we get started, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content oh. you can't see on YouTube. Ooh. Plus you're helping support the channel. <laughs> now you can also support the channel by tipping on Venmo like these fine folks did. Big shout out to our girl Marissa V who actually tipped us for, we did a, a video about like looking at Y2K trends that are coming back on Patreon. Love Y2K. She loved that, the nostalgia of that. Yes. Uh, Michael P, who tipped me from our Gale Glamour. Wow. Oh, glamour. Love that. Ben W, who actually tipped on Cash App, and he said, "Here's I'm from Ohio, here's my money. I love. Did, we did this thing where we once made fun of Florida, then I got a wow. lot of tips from Florida, then Connecticut. We talked wow. about Connecticut last week, got a lot of tips from them. So I, to, this week I picked a new state, and I was like, who can we at attack? Yeah. And so I said, Ohio's not real. Well, I will say this. But they're coming through with the. the um, I was in Ohio, and I, in my opinion, it was actually one of my favorite bars to perform at. It was at Axis in Columbus. It was actually one of the best energies in the United States. But it, I think you felt that way because it was a dream because it's not real. Uh, delusion, delusion. Conv delusion. Now I'm Valentina. I got it, I got it, I got you. <laughs> there's your, yeah, there's <laughs> And then finally, Alex L., who uh, loved my pink wig in the uh, Cursed Queens video. Thank you wow. so much. And then we also have to quickly take a look at Corey here and his Mirror Mangle so t-shirt. Hi, Corey. Ooh. Wherever he is, it looks beautiful too. Like that looks He's like at my look house. Uh, you wish. I Again, do. I do. <laughs> you can get that shirt at miramangle.redbubble.com or at dragqueenmerch.com. We also have stuff there as well. Send us your photos and you'll be featured in a video. Wow. You ready to get started? I am. I just have something to say about Redbubble. There is no season 14 selling her merch on Redbubble. If you see it, do not buy from them. I'm okay? The, I'm the only person that like actively supports Redbubble. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't, I, I can't put a lot of money down because I'm a Sure, sure, girl. sure. Yeah, but like, it's not from us. They don't have the rights to our images and they're just creating crazy merch. And I'm like, okay, great. Well, you know, thedejasky.com or thedejasky.store. Look it up. the rights to my image. And... <laughs> what image is that? This one? <laughs> you are Sharper Image. Remember Sharper Image? I don't think it should be any sharper. Oh. <laughs> I want a soft lens. Soft glow. <laughs> we're gonna get into our list and then we'll talk about India as it comes up. Um, if within, you didn't know, we're talking list. about India, guys. So let's start off okay. with our list of makeup yes. queens. So from season one, you chose Nina Flowers and Chanel as I, the makeup queens. Yeah, I did basically what I what I tried to do as the most influential makeup girl from the Because obviously, like, there's yeah. tons of makeup. Tons of great makeup. But it's, like, influential. Like, what actually... Impactful. And, like, trends and stuff. Yeah. So I obviously had to have Miss Nina Flowers, the icon of icons. Wh to me, what, admire, what I admire most is she can blend black 
into skin. To nothing, yeah. To nothing. That takes a lot of time and patience that I don't have. Like literally, you would take a blending color or something. No, she's literally just blending black into a bright, wow. Truly a makeup genius, yeah. Like, amazing, and her makeup is always stamped. She never lets any of us down. And a signature face. Uh, it's recognizable, yeah. absolutely. And like, I remember um, when I first saw it, I was like, why is she so pale? But it just made it. It made just everything more bold. Well, to be fair, right? she is that pale. <laughs> Like, even out of drag, she is that pale. <laughs> and then Chanel is another amazing choice, and I'm glad you chose her because she it truly, like, had just such a stamped press mug, and she did the Secret Celebrity Drag Race makeup, too. And I'm glad because I feel like she's actually one of the most underrated and underutilized makeup I artists. I agree, because guess like, what? On that show, yeah. I mean, I know that it's been a while, mm -hmm. every week her person looked the best. The best her attention to detail and she always enhances what it's there and also adds a little drag touch to it right yeah like oh your face is gorgeous let's you know enhance that but add a little like drag to it let's carve and 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 her blending is gorgeous too and i love that she really has a signature mug she loves the smoky dark eye because her eyes are so gorgeous her like, lips are always going stunning <laughs> and she loves that like 40s bitchy brow, like that yeah. old Hollywood. I live. She I does live. have the bitchiest brow ever. Well, except for your sister, Diabetti. I feel Diet like hers is. <laughs> Camden's brow now is very bitchy. Ah. It's like. You don't even have any on. I just realized that. You know, I've been. I'm kind of. But it's fierce. We were just talking about. We were just talking about, like, um, phases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think I'm loving no brows. Okay. Like, I love that for you. Because also, it didn't. Until we were under these lights, it didn't even register. We do. But I like it. You look good. Thank you, sister. Season two, it's the Rujubi duo. Of course, Raven has to be on the Baby, list. Baby, Raven is the face of all faces. Raven is the face that you want to get to as a baby queen. Actually, even as an established queen, you say. want to have that perfect, takes your time. She yeah. enjoys, she's what, 105? now oh she enjoys the process she still takes her time yeah. i mean i'm sure she could still be stunning and gorgeous in like a 45 minute but i just love that she enjoys the process because i'm one of those queens i love doing makeup mm -hmm. but i do not enjoy the process i more or less try to get it on and shellac yeah. it as half the time you really don't have time which is amazing <laughs> you look, like you always look like you did take a lot of time not to keep coming back to you no 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 i i love it no Please. i agree i felt the same way when i was doing shows but then once i started the channel over mm -hmm. time i because then i wasn't on anyone's time yes constraint. yes 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 then i was like oh i actually like doing makeup yeah but i it wasn't i mean i literally did drag for like four years before mm -hmm. i ever did enjoy doing it how so how long do you take now to do your full face well, if I'm getting ready for the channel, mm -hmm. it depends because sometimes I like like at least three hours because I'm going to go slow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I like to get up and go look in every mirror in the house. And right. I have a lot of them. And, <laughs> she does. She has a mirror instead of a mirror. <laughs> I'm living. Raven is Raven. The mug of mugs. We, like... When we did a video about like top 15 or 20 makeup artists, and mm -hmm. I think we had her at number one because Baby. it's the most influential yeah. face, I think, period. Because like, it's, it's just a, people, the blueprint. People like Raja, people like Detox literally say Raven has influenced the drag race fandom and queens still to this day try to emulate yeah. and can it's always an inspiration because it can never be duplicated yeah. that mug is stamped baby and i think juju b just has one of those like effortlessly like stunning soft beautiful faces well, well you know what's crazy i so i'm always a fan of, of of painters but i also love the you know the little <laughs> girls but on season two i love juju b's because it it was so dramatic. She had that sharp, sharp cheek. She had that really bold, bold, bold eye and the big lashes. And I think now she's just refined and she has such a gorgeous face. Yeah, you I know feel what like I mean? she's just kind of evolved slowly. with it. It's still the yeah. same face, but evolved for the times. Right, right, right. Now moving on to season three, we have Raja and we have India Farah. You've been waiting for this one. <laughs> well, let's first, talk about, let's first talk about their makeup and then we'll okay. get into the dramas. Ra so Raja, I feel she was an influential queen in general. It wasn't even just she makeup. She did the makeup on um, Top Model too. Baby, all that's... Those years. So I was a ginormous fan of Sutan because of America's Next Top Model. So when she was on Drag Race, I was like, no, I kept on calling her Sutan actually for the mm. longest time. Well, not in person. I didn't meet her till like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey girl. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Yes. She was one where, because her makeup was so... It's not... There's not necessarily a signature, especially mm. when I was thinking about season three. Mm -hmm. But the paint she's been doing on All Stars has truly made me appreciate her makeup at a whole nother level. It's also Her the filler. Dolly, but that Dolly face. <laughs> oh my like, God. That makeup was the best totally. Dolly makeup. 
Like, it, and then the madam. It was like and dolly drag. Some of the, <laughs> some, it's really made me re appreciate her makeup yeah. to a whole new level, seeing her yeah. back and seeing some of the stuff she's done. Our generation will forever appreciate Raja. The younger generation saw that Raja was the oldest queen and immediately discounted her. Then she came in day one and was like, oh no, bitch, I'm a icon. And this is why I'm a icon. <laughs> And like literally, I'm like, she's fashion, she's mug, she's hilarious. Like she, she has it all. So never discredit Raja, cause she'll continue to show you. And boom goes the dynamite. Speaking of dynamite. Speaking of dynamite. <laughs> now first let's talk about her makeup. And I will yeah. say that let's, before we get into anything, you okay. know, her, her mug is a signature thing. Signature. And honestly, I would say that people like, that came after her, like Trixie, mm -hmm. she was kind of doing similar things. Trixie told that too, or yeah. told. Trixie said like, I was very inspired by India Cheeks because she has such a signature mug. And you know, actually she was one of the mugs that on season three, people actually like downplayed, right? They were like, oh, it's old school. Oh, it's this and that. Right. Now it's getting a little more appreciation because makeup has evolved and makeup is so much more dramatic, right? Yeah, because she to. hasn't evolved her makeup, her, her look a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of like I was saying with Juju, just refined it slowly sure. over time. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's like if it's, it's right, it's right. It's <laughs> it has become appreciated. Yeah. Also, fantastic entertainer. Yeah. You know, a great performer. Amazing. Like she's from Vegas for a reason, hands down. Okay, now let's get into it. <laughs> so, so all that. <laughs> so she made this tweet. Yes. Can uh, I take a sip? Yeah, go ahead. And oh, this was on Juneteenth. I know. Specifically, she posted this on Juneteenth that she, you know, quote, I'm not a slave for someone paying pennies while other cast members are making 10 times the amount. So what she's referring to is the Vegas show. Cause originally right. she, when they first announced the F Vegas show, she was on it. She was one of the mm -hmm. local Qu Vegas girls that was a fill in. And yes. so she was on the original flyers mm -hmm. and everything. Well, she had that falling out the last time we talked about her with the senior frogs, which is also a Voss events. And yes. you know, she had that big scandal. And when we did that video, I honestly said at that time we wouldn't talk about her again because it right. just it feels like it's not going anywhere. Sure. It's been a year though. And, and so she's back. and <laughs> and this was a big story and people keep asking us to talk about it. I sense with India, I think he senses too, a little bit of delusion. And it's kind of the thing with Derek Berry where I, I don't think that she's very self aware. You should be self aware over the age of twenty seven. You should be fully understanding how you're coming across, fully understanding what you are saying, and especially like a platform that really did give you a career, which was Drag Race. You have to know that social media is a job and you can't right. just say whatever you feel like. Rather than being like, oh my God, so sorry. It was- She fought back. But wh what was the purpose right. of it? It's not gonna get you anywhere. Like nowhere. Right. So the main, the main thing that happened was her and Shay went back yep. and forth. They kept retweeting each other, and so Shay called her out for using the, the term slave on right. Juneteenth. But yeah, they just kept going back and forth. And Shay, then they brought up the whole All-Stars thing. Shay called her out again <laughs> for lying. Yeah. And then India is now again saying, like, I never used the word, what'd you say? I never used the word, um... Um... Alliance. Alliance or whatever, yeah. It's like, you you literally said that she, that they were trying to there's, get her, like, India It doesn't Farrah, matter if you use the word. There's footage. Right. There's, there's tangible evidence. When Shay was on Watch What Happens Live, she was like, yeah, now I know Alexis was telling the truth. Sure. You know this, everyone always kind of remembers a certain queen from their last season. Mm -hmm. And even though she killed as a lip sync assassin, yeah. people will remember that. And it's crazy that she got a top spot taken away from her because, because of, of a lie. Well, and then at, at that same point, like there's people who don't follow all the online stuff mm. and will always think that Alexis was truly lying. So they went back and forth and then India did delete her account on Twitter. At least she had- Oh, she deleted her account? Or suspended it or suspended, whatever. Suspended, okay. Yeah, but she did turn it off. Okay. Yeah, you know- I think I, that's for the best for her. I do too. The thing that happened before was over a year ago. Mm -hmm. And I know that she'd been, you know, working slowly and sure. ha had had some friends within the drag race community yeah. and all of that. And it's like, there was no need, no reason mm -hmm. to do this it, at all. The back and forth, just ugh. like what? It's, I feel like Twitter is, nowhere. Twitter is not for her. I say post gorgeous photos, be gorgeous, be flawless, do videos. Don't, don't say things. I will say. <laughs> Just I will say on the plus, the one thing I did like was that Alexis and Derek kind of got like this like boost, this renaissance, a lot of support. And I thought that was great. The Derek was on pit stop at the exact. <laughs> this is this it is Derek's lined moment. up perfectly. And you know, I'm always repping Derek Barry. Right. And so I'm oh, happy. Yeah. To, I'm mm -hmm. happy to see her get her right. little renaissance, baby. And then it, uh, Alexis with the this is why Derek doesn't like you. I, that, I mean, that's one of my favorite quotes ever. I'm glad it's getting appreciated again. Again, more. and again, every single year, India comes back. 
And then a lot of the other girls chimed in too, you know, because it was to talk about yeah. the dentist and silly stuff that was also kind of rude. But um, I think it was one of those you know. things where I mean, we have no idea how India how India is. Maybe she's really, really evil even more behind the scenes. And these are the girls that have been affected by her that are coming for her. But it was a little like below the belt for no reason. And like no one came to <laughs> s s s like no one came to her side or like nobody this is what i'm saying india what did you do like no, it's just constantly burning bridges and got it you know it just comes out of fear sure and <gasps> not feeling like you belong and things like that that it's this is the this is the defense mechanism it's the insecurity we've seen it with countless queens that are quote unquote villains that they're just reacting because mm -hmm. they feel insecure about something and they see someone else doing well in what they think that they should have done well in. The only positive is at least a couple of girls got love, but I hate to see someone else like... Yeah, there's no... <laughs> just... There's no way to... it herself. Yeah. But there's no way to be like, yay. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's... it's Because it... I mean, if you do think about it as people, it is a little bit heartbreaking. Yeah. Because you because see someone just continuing to... We are empaths, themselves. so yeah. we kind of feel like, you know... There's no happy ending with it for mm -mm. India at mm -mm. this point. You know, she didn't... She didn't even remotely attempt to... Like, here's the thing. You do the shady tweet, which sure. was the mistake to begin mm -hmm. with. But let's say once you're called out for, like, hey, you're, it's Juneteenth and you're mm -hmm. using the term slave like mm -hmm. that why today and why also right after coco you know coco went kind of viral with posting that queen of all the queens of color that yes. are on the cast right now yeah and i couldn't help but think that that had something to do with it too she just was it was it she's felt very intentional she, this is the thing we st people well i don't think people but people need to stop giving her credit or stop giving her the benefit of the doubt she knows what the she's doing and she did Jeffree she, Star too literally I'm like girl she knows what she's doing some people in order to be relevant they feel like they need to be in the spotlight with controversy and stuff gotcha. I think this but see is... Jesus is always fun <laughs> why can't it be fun why is it because it's right. like real real yeah it, it's just too deep because even with the Gia thing we were all just like it's Gia right like and it becomes a viral thing <laughs> yeah all right getting back to our list so <laughs> season four we've got Fifi O'Hara and Madame LaQueer ma'am okay so let me tell you, Madame LaQueer was the reason why I started doing dramatic makeup. Oh. Hands down. And I've told her that I actually worked with her in Palm Springs. And I told her, I said, look, you were the reason why I wanted to really do dramatic makeup. Because she was a plus size diva. Yeah. And she was painted. Fifi O'Hara, um, again, I think season four was really the dramatic I feel like it started the dramatic makeup craze. She didn't care if it was daytime, nighttime, brunch time. She was gonna paint severely and people hated it, but I loved it. I well, loved it. I mean, the best thing to me, Fifi is one of the greatest makeup artists yeah. of all time to me, period. Well, mm -hmm. Jeremy Carey, that 365 Days of Drag. I mean, no one has ever topped anything like that. No one ever will. Amazing. Moving on to season five, we've got two members of Rulaska Talks. We've yeah. got Roxy and Dita. Yes. I think Roxy is one of those people that once she was off the season, you saw so many girls with Roxy's face. Oh, Roxy right? is Roxy is that girl. It was no. influential. Yeah. Latrice for season four obviously was one of the first queens that really kind of repped for the big girls, but I think that Roxy kind of did it in more of a like a like a sexy Yeah, sexy. Sexy way, right? Yeah. Detox has one of those mugs. She has it correct. Always that signature that like 80s yes. supermodel aesthetic. If it's not broke, don't fix it, and that face is stamped. And you can't ever forget that black and white look. Period. In all her makeup on All Stars. I was going to say. Both of them on All Stars 2 killed it every Gorgeous. week with the looks. Yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. Moving on to season six, we've got the clown herself, Bianca Del Rio. Yeah. <laughs> and Adore Delano. Adore was one of those other girls where I think they influenced um, Everyone. a younger generation. Like you said, yeah. she's one of those queens where everyone had her face after that season. And, right. and her yeah. aesthetic. People wanted to be this person. You know how people want to be Beyonce or people want to be Lady Gaga. Yeah. People wanted to be Adore Delano. I yeah. actually have a really good friend. Her her name is Gigi. She actually does a lot of my hair. Legit wanted to be a door. Mm. And then of course Bianca Del Rio, which is my favorite winner of all time. Uh, yeah, for Period. sure. Period. Um, it, it's signature. Signature. It's glamour, yet it still has that clown it camp works. influence. It works for stage, photos, magazines, video. It works for every single thing. Everything but sexy. But that's okay. <laughs> we don't need everyone to be sexy. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I totally feel it. I feel it. But it's just stamped. It's gorgeous. It's, like, it is. It's perfect. Again, like when you when you find your face, why change it? She's got one of you those signature I mean? eyes that, like, if you just see the eye, like the 
cut crease and all that, you know exactly who it is. Like if you did like a like a I know thing, the eye pops up, it's Bianca, hands yeah. down. Season seven, we had a lot of makeup artists. We have Pearl, Miss Fame, Baby. and Trixie Mattel. Baby. Well, kind of how you were just saying with Adore, mm -hmm. Trixie was the same way where everyone wanted to be Trixie. App. Absolutely. And everyone looked a mess, but. Looked, a, well, I mean, to be honest, Trixie on her season didn't She look, looked a mess. She looked she a mess, sure right? Yeah, like yeah. she refined it very quickly. Yeah. You know, after, because that's the thing about TV. Once you see yourself, you reevaluate a lot because you can see yourself in a mirror and people can, right. yes, God, mama, but until you see yourself on TV, you reevaluate. Now me, I didn't have that issue because I loved what <laughs> I looked like. The other two people, which is Miss Fame and Pearl, they had a look stamped Mm -hmm. and the execution was amazing the entire time. Yeah. People were copying Miss Fame's face on YouTube for right, years right. before she was even on Drag Race. Now she, right. I will say she has one of those, They, I agree, or like Trixie and Fame both have that signature mug and mm -hmm. they still have that same mug except refined to the yes, same day. Yes. Pearl mm -hmm. is more of a chameleon and every I love year that. She, every year she tries to re, actually yeah. not even year, every She's month. Changing, yeah. yeah, she just likes reinventions. And the thing about Pearl that I love is she has such a natural face and such a beautiful face. Mm -hmm. There's times where she'll literally wear lashes and she looks like a girl. There's times where she'll drag it up and it's just like, she has such a versatile face, right? I will say, Pearl and Miss Fame have both painted Katya and both times she did not look good. So they have signature mugs, but maybe it doesn't work on every face type. You I, know what I mean? Yeah, no, I think what it is is that they have feminine mugs, right? Or Already. like feminine shapes. Yes, so yes. if you put that on someone with the bigger, Katya, with a bigger jawline, it's not gonna work. Maybe Bianca should paint her. <laughs> Trixie uh, has her own makeup, of yeah. course, so she has to be on this list. Period. Miss Fame also has tons of her own makeup, too. Mm -hmm. And then moving on to season eight, these two queens have makeup together, and wow. Kim Chi is, of course, a makeup mogul. Hands and Naomi down. Smalls, I mean, two two very influential faces. Absolutely. Makeup icons. She, um, I'm, I'm actually using uh, Kim Chi setting powder for under my eye. Love it. Love. When Naomi got on the scene, it was all about spiky, pretty bottom lashes and rhinestones. Mm -hmm. And I think that that was the big influence. You saw it all over season nine. No offense to season nine, but every girl on season nine had chunky, spiky bottom lashes with rhinestones. Yeah. Am I right or wrong? No, you're right. Baby Naomi Smalls is that bitch. And she's also she's, one of the most kindest yeah. queens. She's underappreciated for how good she is at makeup. And then of course, Kim Chi. Now I got to see this mug up close. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's and she beautiful. came unlike Trixie who had like the same kind of white under thing. Mm. Kim Chi came in the door polished yeah. like it was perfection from yes. the beginning. Well, I think Trixie got inspired by Kim, by Kim Chi mm. because Kim Chi was a makeup artist to begin with. You guys, she has her own makeup line in CBS. This is a mainstream all over the world as market. Big as it gets, mama. That's huge. And her makeup is quality. Yeah. And the price point is I'm not gonna say nothing, but the price point is so low. Right. So low, quality things so low. I remember seeing her like doing her makeup for Vogue and I was like, what? Yeah. For Vogue? I Cause there's so many things that we take for granted now that sure. the Queens do, like the Cosmo Queens, things mm -hmm. like that. Like places that, uh, especially the Rue Girls mm -hmm. go now that wasn't a thing. No, up not until, at all. Like some of these one digit seasons. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, speaking of one-digit seasons, we're on the last one, and it's Valentinta Ew. and Pheromone for season nine. How funny that they're the frenemies and they're on this list. I mean, they it wasn't are, intentional. <laughs> they are the mug, like their mugs are, so, and there's a lot of great mugs on season yeah. nine. A lot. Season nine, I felt like was one of the one of the more polished seasons, right? Like, oh yeah, heads down. Oh yeah. Obviously, with Pheromone, she literally she invented put highlight highlight on the map, and it's so funny because obviously we're from an older older generation. Mm. When when we say highlight, we mean like highlight, right? But so Not highlighter. Yeah. So I remember like explaining to someone like, "What do you use for your um, highlight?" And I'm like, "Oh, I use blah blah blah." They're like, "No shimmer," and I'm like, "Oh, highlighter." That's gah, gah, gah. highlighter. Yeah. Uh, I feel like she's because I've met her uh, recently. She doesn't really do the highlight anymore. She's no. kind of. She's, she's softer. She's in grown too. out of it, I think. And Honestly, with both of them yeah. nowadays, they're so, they're way softer. Baby, they just they're women. Can I just tell you something that I've noticed? The earlier seasons, when they got off of Drag Race, they painted more. Nowadays, when you get off of Drag Race, you paint less. You get soft. Your yeah. lashes are this small. <laughs> there's no. Con I, I mean, but they look stunning. They have one of those faces that's like you yeah. don't need it all. And then Valentina's brow too. We have to talk about that brow because that was such a like a, something we hadn't seen on Drag Race yet. I've, you I've copied it? done it before. You did it. Yeah. Whenever she first came out, I tr it just didn't work for me. When she came out and she had the long straight strokes to give it kind of that thing, I think that 
she single-handedly made that a thing later on because now everyone does the more like smaller strokes, but I feel like she was the blueprint for it. Season 10 has a lot of great mugs too, but we've got Aquaria in Asia. Absolutely. Baby. Aquaria is really one of the ultimate chameleons. Absolutely. She can do any type of look. Every time I see a picture of her, it's never identical. Yeah. And that's something that I can like definitely say that for me, I do try to change up my makeup often. But I think that I'll stick to a signature shape or a signature mm -hmm. color and I'll kind of change it up, which is, I mean, that's smart, especially if you're on the road so much. But she was on, she continues to be booked and blessed and you never see the same makeup. Right, I feel like hers is just, she gets bored, so she's like, I'm not doing that. And again. the symmetry, I love that. It, yeah, perfection. The symmetry, it's so difficult. And she just makes it look, I've seen plenty of um, tutorials from her and I'm like, you're just slapping it on. Just <laughs> going like this, and then it turns out perfect and stunning. And she has a face. She has a delicate little face. Yeah, too. that that you don't have to wear a lot, and yeah. she still loves to. Goes full drag. I respect that. Speaking like, of full I drag, Asia O'Hara is full drag, mama. Baby, when I tell you I love a queen, hello, with a bright under eye highlight. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> but hers hands down, you can see her smile and her highlight from a mile away. She's painting for the bodega down the street. She's painting for work the worlds in Europe. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, it's just so gorgeous, so refined. I also love that she um, is a melanated sister and she's not afraid to use white. Yeah. Right, like, like she... I feel like it's, it's one of those colors that people tell you to, you know, people tell you to not use. Why would you not want to use it? I think it's gorgeous. I think so too. I think that she's also not afraid to like the color and mm -hmm. a lot of stuff you do too. Like she does a lot of that where yes. she's not afraid of any color, nope. even white. Mm -hmm. She will do all of it. Stunning and her smile. It. She just radiates positivity. Yeah. I just love her. Oh. <laughs> Season eleven, we have got Plastic Tiara and we've got Ariel Versace. <laughs> I, there was an Ariel wreck that was just on. Espana. Plastique is just so, Stunning. so beautiful. Like, oh. b and she, again, came into Drag Race stunning. It's not like she had to develop Unreal. something. Like, hands down, I would never want to take a picture next to her. No. Never. I I would do this. And I, go girl. Like, mm -mm. she's so beautiful. I would literally so just, just do a full on clown. Wear clown nose <laughs> and everything. So well, I'm going to go full yeah, bozo. Because I'm never going to even remotely no. get to this. No. And then, of course, Ariel Versace, she had a huge social media presence. Yeah. And I mean, still does. She was doing YouTube tutorials and Instagram things. And like, she has a very signature stamped mug. This is someone that has a distinct shape, sticks to that shape, changes the color. Right? Yeah. And just, it's so gorgeous. She is not afraid. Uh, actually, I think she was one of the first drag queens that I remember started doing liquid foundation when liquid foundation wasn't a oh. thing. Cause you know, everyone's like TV paint stick, derma blend, blah, right. blah, shellac, shellac. I remember watching a tutorial from her and it was just full liquid makeup, like liquid everything. I'm like, wow. Work. It's so funny. It'll be one of those things where all of a sudden you'll be in a room with Queens and they'll be like, you still do that? We all do this now. I'm like, when, well, when did we decide Literally. we do that? Literally. So now moving on to yes. season 12 and 13, we've got, because we've got three from 12 that we mm -hmm. had to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's actually the top three, Jada, Gigi, and Crystal yes, Method. Yes, ma'am. And then from 13, we've got Got Mick. Love it. I think Jada has one of the best beauty mugs to ever exist on earth. Butter. It's just perfection. Butter. She can paint anyone, anything. Now she could paint Katya. Oh, she absolutely. Um, when she, I mean, um, Silky has a gorgeous face in general, but she painted Silky for the reunion, and I was like, who is that? Is and she painted a Heidi on YouTube. Yeah, and it's her, gorgeous. Anyone she paints is going to be perfect. Gorgeous, yeah. because she still does drag, but she, it'll be that thing where she, like, enhances, but drags it up at the same time. Right. You know what I mean? And then, of course, Gigi Good. She just has a gorgeous face, right? And a yeah. cute little button nose, like, just stunning, so beautiful. Again, came in perfected, mm -hmm. stayed perfected at DragCon with mm. the lights, the ugly gross lights, Oof. looking like, ugh, I'm done. I felt like, like I a was monster. So <laughs> Sometimes we feel how we look. Speaking of monsters, <laughs> Crystal Method, Crystal Method. Uh, you picked a Missouri girl. I did. Well, I think that she has a very distinct and signature mug that is different from Daya Betty, by the way. I was gonna ask you if that was Dio. Uh, can I just say no. this? They didn't, they they asked me in the confessional, but they never showed it. On Drag Race, the Crystal's comparisons were like nonstop, okay? Ugh. I never saw it. 
When she walked in, I saw Daya Betty. Yeah, yeah, I agree that Daya doesn't even do these it things. It doesn't. Her, her, the way she does her upper lip and yes. bottom lip are very signature. Yes. And then the way she does blush is actually very the signature. The little dots. Too. Yeah. Um, but I think she's kind of like that next evolution of the, the Trixies and the Kim Chis, mm. where this is like, okay, let's do that, but just someone who had lost their mind did it. And I think that's sure. like somebody who's on Crystal Method. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there. I love that. No, it yeah, is very signature. No, it's gorgeous and signature, and even in person, it's like she has so much on it. It's so beautiful. Like, Speaking of signature, though, got Mick basically being a member of Kiss, <laughs> but like to be able to to they were you know Kiss was already mm -hmm. drag, but got Mick is able to do that and still do to so many other things too. Very like, versatile. Work for, yeah. Yeah. Somehow still. But even when they just do the black and white face, mm -hmm. somehow that's versatile too. Yeah. But it's just the way they do everything. I've never. Mark my words, I've never been a fan of someone that has like a different color face but doesn't bring it down to the body and neck, right? Yeah. Seeing her, I never once even cared about it. I, I was like, I don't care. Yeah, I never even <laughs> thought about that, but you're so right. Normally that is bothersome. Yeah. But there's something about the way Gottmik did it that it was like, it worked. You saw a lot of kids afterwards doing a lot oh, of Gottmik. Absolutely. Well, that brings us to your season. <laughs> oh my and god! Of course, you're on there, but then your elimination sissy, Georges. Yes, Miss Georges. Day one for our runway, actually, um, Michelle Visage called mine and Georges's makeup the best. Oh, so, so it's official. Baba? Baba? <laughs> what does that mean? Ba! Do you need a bottle? <laughs> Baba? Baby bottle pop. Um, no, yeah, I. she. One, she has a beautiful face, so even if she painted really soft, it would still be gorgeous. Right. I just think she has a very signature face, and I love when... My favorite mug that she ever did, actually, was the first episode. She, we actually both had smoky eyes, but she did, like, a bold purple smoky eye. And I was like, what? She's the beauty mug of the like, season. Like, it's yeah. gorgeous. Moving on to me, I think that... <laughs> No, 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 no. So, so here's the thing. No, no, no. I actually, I actually talked to um, quite a few people about this. I said I knew I was good at makeup, but it wasn't until I actually got on Drag Race and seeing like the love and seeing even from my sisters that were like, "You are the makeup girl. You need to come up with the makeup line." Like it, mm -hmm. it was like really validating. I didn't look for it, right? I wasn't like, "You guys need to tell me," blah blah blah. But just hearing from my peers and even people online being like, "You're the mug." Like Nikki Doll walked up to me randomly and said, "The mug." Mm. of the season and i was mm. like well hello so it's Fierce. it's it to me it's validating i think makeup is one of my strengths and i'm glad that like everyone is seeing it well and what, what i mean? love what you do that is kind of a signature i would say is you you choose colors that i would never think to do together like you do the brightest eye but then a black lip i like contrast yeah i do i think i think my aesthetic is so colorful uh -huh. that i feel like with the black lip, it's like one of those things that wouldn't go together, but somehow go together. Yeah. I mean, there are times where I'm in full pastels and I have a black lip, and sometimes I'm like, okay, that maybe ha didn't work, but having a signature is not a bad thing. Like for your <laughs> for, for the picture we're looking at for your promo, yeah. if we were getting ready together, mm -hmm. right, and you turned to me and said, should I do a black lip with this? I'd look at you and go, no. No. What are you the <laughs> But it actually really doing? works. Black Lip Deja is here to stay and she's she, not going you know, nowhere. You know when the when the right time is. Yes. Yep. I mean, I mean, I do love nudes and pinks and kind of things, but black is just signature to me. Let's take a look at some of our favorite international faces. <gasps> yes! From the UK, we've got Baby. Vivian and Blue Hydrangea. Baby. And then from Holland, we've got Envy Peru and Chelsea Boy. Signature, again, signature mugs. Yeah. Vivian is actually a very versatile mug. She can do anything. Again, another person, little tiny liner, and it looks stunning on her. Right. But she still chooses to go drag. Right. I've seen her like go from one look to the next, to the next, to the next. Same thing, same thing with Chelsea Boy. To come out with this look for your promo. Yeah. And the, bl one of the look best at the ever. blending. One of the best ever. But I think the Vivian like, I think that she was kind of an underrated. I think because of her filler and all that, I think she sometimes people don't realize or discredit, not to, not even discredit, but not recognize how good her makeup is. Well, I think also because Blue was the you know, she was Blue the, is a chameleon yes. and does all kinds of crazy, yeah. And she was on the same season, We so kind of have like, very... yeah, because both of these girls, like from their seasons were, yeah. you know, on the th same things. We have Vivian and uh, Envy who are like the beauty mugs of their season. Right. And then uh, Blue and Chelsea are the aliens of their season. Camouflage they aliens, yes, yes, yes. And like, even this picture that, are you showing these pictures? Yeah. <gasps> even the picture with Blue Hydrangea, the <laughs> blending of the colors. Yeah. Like, what? What I what I think is, is particularly impressive about Blue, too, and I'm not just saying this because she's my friend, because <laughs> she's one of my favorite, she's probably my favorite, like, Instagram. Yes, yes, uh, presence, face. yeah. Uh, because she can be such a chameleon, yet mm -hmm. 
it still always looks like blue. Yes. Do you know what I mean? You took the words and out of my mouth. And that's hard to do. Yeah, yeah, Envy is one of the most beautiful faces. It's up there with, Jada and her have like some of the best faces ever. And her in person, person, it's the same thing, oh baby. Oh my God. Even out of drag, I, I mean, I've talked about this before. But yeah, it was, it was, it was an experience, <laughs> like a, a religious this. experience. You did tell me this. Ooh. She also very sweet. Like it, oh, yeah. it was crazy like, that like she almost one. felt like, cause we we had taken a picture after DragCon had wrapped and we mm -hmm. were still in full drag. It was almost like she was like. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, okay. It was all. <laughs> Can you cut this out? Actually, don't. It was almost like she was like honored to take a picture with me a little oh. bit. It wasn't like, you need a picture with me. It wasn't that. It was like, oh my God. Like, oh, you oh. were so. Like, it was that. She is a winner. She's an angel. And she better be on the next winter season. I'm telling you. I'm just saying, because she she's going to demolish. She's the one. When we talk about international seasons specifically, we always say, like, she's the Envy Peru of that, da da da. Because that means you're the ultimate. Period. Yeah. She demolished. There was no one else that was, that even came close to her. No, ma'am. <laughs> All right, well, that wraps up our list of Deja's makeup Wee! impactful. What'd you say? You used a different word. Influential, Influential makeup. Influential makeup artist. Yes. And uh, so let us know what you think about this list and if we missed anyone. And because there's so many, I'm sure we the did. Baby of course, Hiding times. Closet on season 12 was like one of the ultimate faces. And that shade. <laughs> and that means we got to go. <laughs> and let us know, speaking of shade, what you think about all the India Fair drama. Baby, give it to us in the comments below. I oh my God, you were talking about how rude people can be in YouTube comments. Uh -huh. Yes, I posted a short for the Trevor Project. And they told you off? It was like, I have to wash my eyes. <laughs> I have to bleach my, I was like, what? Obviously a random person would I shouldn't no have videos. left that comment. I <laughs> we gotta get out of here. One last thing to say, glad you got to see us. Bye. 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 Bye.